Here are five more beginner projects. I already covered these five in a previous short, so Flatbird, Arkanoid, Snake, Asteroids, and Lunar Lander. All of these are great beginner projects. And here we've got five more, so starting off with Space Invaders. This is an excellent one that this one now teaches you about AI. You've got to handle all the various aliens and how they are shooting the player. You've got to handle the collisions for the bullets hitting either the enemies, either the player, or those little defenses. You've got to keep track of score, and you've got to keep track of the difficulty. As there are fewer and fewer aliens, they should move faster and faster, making the game harder and harder. Then you've got Pac-Man, another great classic one. So this one also involves some very interesting AI use cases. If you research the AI for all these ghosts, they all have a very specific AI. Then you've got to handle the control of the player and all the various bonuses. You've got to handle the both states of the normal state and the defeated state. And you've got to handle the teleportation from one corner to the next. Next up, we've got Angry Birds. If you want to learn about physics, then yep, this is a great little game to clone. The player handles pushing back on that little slingshot. And as they throw, it should apply physics to the bird, the bird should fly along with physics, and then you've got to handle all of the physics interactions. So as it hits something, it should either destroy the pig completely, or maybe it should just deal damage and let the pig fall down. So you've got to handle, for example, does this force on the pig, is this enough for force to destroy it or not? Then you've got to handle the three star systems and so on. Next up, you've got missile command. This involves spawning all kinds of missiles coming from the top, so you've got to figure out how do you spawn them, how do you randomly position them across the level. Then the player shooting the missiles, make sure the missiles actually hit where the player wants to hit, make sure that it explodes and that explosion grows. And if any missile goes inside that explosion, it should be destroyed. Then you've got the handle defending the cities, the limited number of missiles, the points, and so on. And finally, you've got Fruit Ninja. If you want something maybe more mobile or maybe more VR-ish, then this would be a great one. If you've got to basically spawn all the fruit, make them go up, and then you've got to do some gesture recognition. So as the player slices like this, you've got to actually make the slice like this. You've got to figure out, have they sliced that object? And if so, how do you spawn the object? Do you spawn both parts and fling them apart? Or do you actually do some very complex mesh compilation in order to slice it exactly as the player did? Then of course, the bombs, the combos, all those things. So it's a simple game design that can definitely be expanded on quite a lot. So if these are great, five more beginner projects. If you build all these, you will gain a massive amount of knowledge.